Hi, I'm Dr. Rick, and uh, I just wanted to introduce this PowerPoint presentation on uh, knee pain in the outdoor athlete with uh, a word of caution. There's many reasons for having knee pain, and uh, especially with my outdoor athletes, I would um, suggest that if an injury occurs, and it results in a, an immediate swelling or immediate pain to the knee area, especially if it's hot or it feels warm to touch, that you really should seek out care. And I'll have a list of uh, the levels of care that you can find uh, within your own community later on in the PowerPoint. Uh, the reason being that injury followed by immediate swelling and pain could be from several different things. Hopefully it's just mild or minimal overuse and that I'll touch upon in the PowerPoint. But the going down the line as far as level of acuity, the four things that could be an issue that you want to seek out immediate care for would be number one, a fracture. And not all fractures are obvious. Sometimes minimal pain and all swelling. But you don't want to turn a small fracture into a compounded or a large fracture. So that would be the first thing. Second, ACL tear. An ACL tear, like you usually hear about with uh, football injuries, astroturf injuries, uh, contact or collision sport injuries, even basketball. Um, if it results in a small tear to the anterior cruciate ligament, if it's small, it can be healed or repaired. If it's large, it can lead to a very unstable knee, and then you'll break. And that'll be the end of your hiking, biking, or running for at least uh, this year. Third would be a meniscus tear or cartilage tear and I'll show you that later on in the PowerPoint. That's not so life-threatening, but can get you into position where the piece of cartilage turns up and locks the knee. And if you have that, after uh, 50 miles of biking or two miles of hiking, and you're stuck in the middle of nowhere with a locked knee, that could be considered a medical emergency where uh, we have to sedate you in the emergency room and then unlock it. Uh, third would be, or sorry, uh, fourth would be a patellar dislocation. That's when the kneecap pops out and stays out. And uh, you would think that too would be obvious because if your kneecap looks like it's sticking out, pop it back in, but don't do that. Uh, but in some folks who I'd say 50% of the people who come out to the lecture for knee pain are people with medical problems that want to seek out some new activity. So with uh, people who have weight issues or weight challenges, you might not be able to see the knee cap that easily. People with arthritis, it might be hard to figure out what's the knee cap, what's arthritis. Or in the wintertime, northern states especially, when you're bundled up, and you have knee pain, you're not going to take everything off to assess the knee. Uh, so, please be careful of those four things. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much, just because of a lack of time, I'm not going to talk too much about those four things, but um, perhaps in a later lecture. So, enjoy the PowerPoint. I will see you later on in this presentation for uh, more details. Thanks.